Other people might not be as receptive to you. This could be in any type of social situation. Perhaps they don't feel like you make enough money, or they don't feel like you're popular enough, or they don't feel like you fit the stereotype. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a homemaking vlog of my afternoon. I know that the desire from you guys for more homemaking content is real, so I'm going to try to incorporate some more throughout the upcoming weeks. I would absolutely love it if you would remember to like the video, if you would comment down below, and if you are new here, if you would subscribe. We make videos on homemaking, of course, femininity, and striving to be a high value woman throughout our lives. So without further ado, let's get into the vlog. It is after lunch time now and I like to take some me time during this portion of the day. I got myself a coffee so I'm just going to sip on that and as you will see I take out my phone. This is the time of the day where I like to reply to all of you lovely people and to comment on people who I'm subscribed to and just consume some social media guilt free in this block of time. Once I'm done doing that, I take my devotional Bible, it's a women's devotional Bible, and I work through the little section that I have assigned for that particular day. I am a type of person who likes to underline and write while I read something. I like this part of the day and I'm not perfect, I don't do this every single day, but it is so relaxing and it really helps me refocus and recenter my life. Once I'm done with that, on certain days I feel kind of tired, so if I do feel tired that day, I will put down the blinds and take a power nap. My dogs will often also nap at the same time, <laughs> because what is a dog's life? Eat, sleep, play. You will see one of them needs some attention. And once I am done with my nap, I will wake up and get ready to home make. I like to use natural all-purpose cleaner. I know that the whole vinegar and water works very well, but my joy I find is buying cleaners. I know that's kind of a little bit weird. I love the method all-purpose cleaner. This was just on sale um, at this like the regular drugstore brand. <laughs> So it was on sale, so I picked this up. This isn't actually wood, so if this was real wood, I would be using a wood cleaner. I would love to know what your favorite all-purpose cleaner is down below. remember who I learned this from but even if you aren't cooking putting on your apron is going to get you in the mood to actually get things done around your home around the house when I am doing chores I try to wear my apron so that it signals to myself that I am ready to begin my homemaking tasks another thing I wanted to tell you is that if you aren't very motivated to go grocery shopping perhaps try to buy some flowers um, I know that flowers are kind of expensive to buy bouquets but I try to go for the cheap on sale flowers and you can usually revive them with that little um, sugar mix that they give with the flowers or you can make your own from scratch to give a little special something to your grocery trip and perhaps will help you be motivated to push through because you know you will have a fresh bouquet of flowers sitting on your counter and perhaps your nightstand or your dining room table like me.
So some of you know that I have talked about my handy dandy notebook and if you have read my blog you know that I was actually inspired by an Instagrammer from the UK called Mrs. Hinge but I do mine a little bit different. I just got the idea from her a long time ago. I've been following her for I think at least a year and I love the notion of checking things off of your list. So I just make sections in terms of things that I need to buy for the week and then I will transfer it at the end of the week to my master grocery list. I will also write down what I need to clean for the day, what bills I need to pay, and what extra things that I need to do. So one of the extra things I need to do on my handy dandy notebook list is actually call the vet and I have a few bills here that I need to pay. So right now I'm going to call the vet. You all might have noticed that I love my Dyson. Dysons are pretty pricey, but I would definitely recommend that you buy one. And their customer service was the best customer service that I have ever experienced. And having been a person who has worked in customer service in the past, I am going to tell you that this is a unique phenomenon nowadays. So I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum the main area, especially where the dogs like to hang out, which is over here. We have this space here and I have to do that every single day just because I have dogs. So today I'm going to be cooking lasagna and I'm actually going to be doing it a little bit different. I'm going to be doing it in two different containers instead of the lasagna pan. So it's not going to be the baking dishes that are for lasagna. So we're gonna see how these square lasagnas turn out. But I wanna freeze one and um, my husband and I are going to eat the other one probably over the next few days. Got this recipe on Pinterest, I think. I don't know, but it's one that I've been using for a long time and I just write it in my Kate Spade recipe book. I am not a master cook by any means and I love eating at home, but I love convenient and I love easy things to cook. I actually had my mom point out to me that I should tell all of you, I think this is because of an incident that happened in the 80s, <laughs> but if you are on the paranoid side like I am, don't forget to wipe down your cans when you come back to from the grocery store. You want to upgrade the look of your olive oil? Dollar Tree is where you can get these things that are usually sold at a cooking store for at least $20. Dollar Tree. Now I find that one of the things that makes the lasagna taste very delicious is if you put a mix of Italian sausage and ground beef. I know a lot of people just put ground beef, but I really find that the Italian sausage, although it's not that healthy for you, really helps to upgrade the flavor. So I put in the diced tomatoes and the meat. So I'm going to let that sit there for at least an hour. The longer the better with sauce. I'm just going to make the ricotta cheese mixture. So I'm gonna put the ricotta, um, some eggs, some nutmeg, and some fresh parsley in the mixture. And that will be ready to go for once the sauce is done and I'm going to be able to layer my lasagna. I'm going to link on my blog or I'm going to write it out on my blog or take a picture of my actual recipe book so that you can find it and I would love to know especially if you are Italian or have an excellent even if you're not Italian an excellent lasagna recipe because I feel like lasagna is one of those versatile things like I said before everybody loves but it is also a good gift if somebody has a baby for example or god forbid there is a funeral I feel like at this point I could perhaps win a spice smelling contest because my spices are not labeled or anything because I didn't want anything ruining the aesthetic, the minimalist aesthetic. Speaking of minimalism, I wanted to encourage you, of course not to go all Japanese minimalist extreme, although I did binge watch probably every video on YouTube about Japanese minimalism. I'm just wanting to let you know that there are a few things when I really get into them, I am a little bit nerdy. <laughs> but 
thing about minimalism really helped me come to the realization of what was important in life. It also helped me reduce my anxiety so, so, so significantly. Vlogs are like the number one kind of hardest and most tedious thing to film because they're all sectioned in a bunch of pieces that need to be brought together. So if you like the vlogs, this type of video, just please let me know and at least if you don't want to let me know, like the video so that I have some sort of an idea. So I do at least one load of laundry a day and I find that these baskets, again from the Dollar Tree, are perfect because one basket of laundry equals usually one load in a standard wa standard washer and dryer. So I'm not going to fold like my personal items in front of you all, but I wanted to take this moment to encourage you to be nice to other people. When you are nice to other people or you reach out or you try to be a friend or you try to say something nice, and I have noticed this even on the world of YouTube as a small YouTuber that I still am, other people might not be as receptive to you. This could be in any type of social situation. Perhaps they don't feel like you make enough money or they don't feel like you're popular enough or they don't feel like you fit the stereotype of whatever it is the type of person they want to interact with. But I encourage you to be nice anyway. Being nice to somebody else doesn't mean that you need to be nice to somebody else to get something from them. Being feminine, being happy, being a overall positive person means that you will want to strive to exude warmth and love to others. So if you get a type of response that somebody else doesn't seem to like you or brushes you off because they don't know who you are, just be nice anyway and keep moving forward and don't have that hinder you from making connections with other people. So this is like, I think, a fly lady thing to do and if you don't know who fly lady is, I think she kind of pioneered the schedule routine making, surrounding homemaking, the tasks that you have to do every day, the zone cleaning type of thing. So you can look her up. I think she still has a YouTube channel. And she, I believe it's her, suggested that you shine your sink every single day. So I use Vim. I know call the chemical police. If you are a person, I've said this before, who likes to soak your vegetables in your sink, please do not use Vim. Use vinegar and water or a combination like that, baking soda. I know that AirPods are pretty pricey, but I'm going to tell you, doing housework with AirPods while you can listen to a podcast or some music and it doesn't get all like tangled if you are cleaning something or you're folding laundry is definitely worth it in my opinion. Now I also wanted to mention the product that I use every single day on my counters. It is the Method Daily Granite Cleaner. I've actually mentioned it in another one of my videos because it smells so good. So I will spray down the counter, clean the counter. I am going to show you the lasagna at the end and then I am probably going to end the vlog. So anything else that you would like to see, let me know in the comments and I will try to include it for the next vlog. So if if I don't get to see you before then, I wanted to wish you a happy Monday and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye! So I am getting ready for bed and I just pulled out the two lasagnas. They are steaming, steaming hot. What I do is I wait for them to cool down and then I will section one off into portions and put them in glass containers and freeze them. And the other one, my husband and I will either have for dinner throughout the week or as sometimes he wants a late night snack so he can have that for snack.